Hello friends, welcome again. My name is Pranay and in this OIBiz video tutorial, I am going to give you a demonstration of OIBiz plugin system. Basically in this video, we'll keep it simple and we'll try to set up a new plugin. So in my first video tutorial, I showed you that your starting point as a developer uh, in Apache OIBiz is going to be to review readme.md file and here you have the complete description of OIBiz plugin system so in OIBiz uh, you have the extensions extension mechanism through plugins and plugins are nothing but the standard OIBiz components that, that reside in spatial purpose directory so be it uh, one of the component that is being supplied by OIBiz it's going to be there in spatial purpose or it's your own custom extension that uh, is going to be plugged in with OIBiz so it is going to be there and has to be there it should be there basically in spatial purpose directory so I'm going to go down a bit and I'm going to set up a new plugin I'm going to create a new plugin basically I'm just starting my work so I want to create a new plugin and I'm going to follow the instructions given here I'm going to run this uh, griddle command to set up my own plugin and I'm going to name it my OF biz demo it's going to be my plugin ID let's see so as I give the plugin ID uh, with, with the name of the plugin that I want to have the ID I want to have it's going to create a plugin for me in a spatial purpose directory you can see that plugin has been created successfully in spatial purpose directory here with this name that I had given here the ID to the plugin that I had given so let's go back and see what happened here in the spatial purpose directory now I have my own plugin that has been created and you can see that the structure for directories that I needed to have for setting up a new component in OIBiz it has already been taken care of by Gradle here and all the directories are there all the required files are there and you can see that skeletons have been created certain uh, basic uh, structure of the application has been set up their service definitions are there so as of now there is no service you have the skeleton ready you can start filling in details as you move further with the custom extensions to it based or your own implementation that you wanted to do so you have got the structure now so once you do this and without any change if you now load this component by starting oibiz by using the command little wrapper oibiz let's see what happens the component the plugin that you have just created uh, and as it has already been defined here in oibiz component xml all the resources are there there is certain data that we need to load first of all so if you want to access it you'll need certain data to be loaded because certain security permission data has already been set up by default for your application that you have just created and then there is one web app that has been created and uh, the mount point for the application is my OIBIS demo or else what I can do is I can see that in OIBIS component xml file sorry I have seed and demo data so what I can do is I can run this target or the gradle command I would say to load the data that we used in the beginning to uh, load the demo and seed data that is supplied by OIBIS so I'm going to use uh, load default here uh, I'll be stopping OIBIS so I need to load the data that has been created by default by uh, the command that I ran to set up the component and that is the permission data security permission data to access the application so I'll need that data uh, for that I have stopped uh, OIBIS server and I am going to run griddle wrapper load default it will load all the default data from OIBIS sorry and along with it it will also pick up my data which has been defined as seed 
and demo in my OBS component XML file in my component. So once the data load is complete, uh, we'll see what happens. So the data lo load is finished now, and now I'm going to start OBS saying Gradle wrapper OBS, and we'll see what happened with my component. So this time my component should be loading with this startup of OIBiz so let's see here you see all the default components the out of the box components were loaded first and then at last my component came in picture here my OIBiz demo this component has been loaded and uh, let's see if I if I try and running the application I'm logging in you can log in with username admin and password as OFBIZ just log in and see here is my component that has been loaded my application is now accessible from here and I will I'm able to access it as of now I haven't done any of the extensions to it any of the implementations are not there that is why I'm only having this main tab that has been set up by default by OIBiz as I used the command to set up this plugin. Uh, this application is now up and ready for extensions. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.